Hi, this is Renee from iteachblogging.com, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a few quotes pretty. First thing I'm gonna do is show you how to put a quote into the normal WordPress editor if you don't have any special plugins. And then I'm gonna show you several ways to make nice looking quotes with Thrive Content Builder, which is a WordPress plugin that I use to make content pretty, is really what I do with it. You can create landing pages, but you can also edit um, existing pages and blog. I load all of my blog posts with Thrive Content Builder. So I just wanted to show this real quick because quotes are an important part of content. When you're trying to make a point, you use, often use a quote and you want to make sure that quote stands out. You don't want it to be just normal text. So if you look at my screen right here, this is a quote. Well, this is the quote. And as you can see, I'm making it stand out a little bit from the rest of the content. It's got this big quotation mark here and it just looks a little bit different. So how I do that is pretty super, super simple. Um, you just put your quote inside of WordPress and then you click on this block quote right here and that's it, that's all you have to do. And it makes that quote look super nice and it makes it stand out. But I like to take it even further. So I'm gonna show you what I do with my Thrive Content Builder. So here I have a, a, just a normal page. It's actually a blog post um, on my website, I teach blogging. And I'm going to drop in some text here. Actually, I have some text I'm going to use. And let's see. Testimonials is what I use. It's a Thrive Content Builder tool, but they've got some really nice ones. Now I'm going to show you every single one of them real quick. This is templates with picture and without picture. So if you're quoting someone and you have a picture of them, so like maybe you've done an interview and you want to highlight a quote, you might want to put a picture of them in there. So this is one way. And this is really nice. This is much nicer than the others, you can tell. So you would just put your text in here. You just quick, you just select once with your left mouse button and replace your text and you're good to go. Then to put their name, you just select once and start retyping, you know, backspace and retype their name. You can change the picture by clicking here and choose testimonial image and you just choose one from your media library. And you can um, also change their description if you want to give them a title or something like that. I often just use the name and not a title. It just doesn't always seem appropriate. Like if I'm quoting Albert Einstein or something, I don't think I need to put famous scientists. So I'll just delete this part, but that is totally up to you. And then, so that's that one. And let's just keep looking at the different choices. This is really nice. And by the way, let me show you something here. You're like, oh my gosh, it's red. Well, that's not a problem because all you do is left mouse click on it and click on the color palette here and you can change the color. Hold on, let me get the whole thing. Change the color to blue. See how it's blue, green. And if you don't see the colors you want, you just click on the custom color tab and um, you can drag this around to change color and kind of get something that stands out. Or you can, I have some saved colors and you can really start manipulating the heck out of this thing as you can see here. Um, and get pretty much any color you want. If you have an RGBA color code or a hex color code, you can just put that right in there. Not a problem, okay? So keep that in mind. And you can see this really starts making this um, stand out. Now, obviously this may not be the best color for my theme but, or my brand, but it stands out and it's really nice. And let's keep looking at them, shall we? So we've got that one. So it looks a bit different as you can see. And we've got this one and this one's nice too and if you want to see what it looks like with some text in there let me so you can see what it would look like with text and we have some normal text put another paragraph get rid of that and that space and you can see so you have normal text normal text and then a quote so it looks pretty nice now if you don't want to use a picture no problem i often don't personally but um we have templates without pictures so let me show you those you can notice it's a lot like the other one, just doesn't have a picture. Makes life simple. Here is another one. There is another one. And you know, some of these are slight variances. Here it is in the center, here it is left justified, but those variances really matter because this way you're not having to do the code yourself and it's just nice and easy. And again, if you wanna change the color, you come over here, click on the color palette, change it to blue, light blue, red, whatever it is you want. And these are just really nice ways to make your content stand out in a different way. It makes your blog look unique. And this is a standard feature of Thrive Content Builder. But if you don't have Thrive Content Builder, remember you can 
just use the block quote function and you're not going to have the fancy look but you're still going to make that quote stand out and that's really what matters so that's it i hope that this blog has helped you and there are a lot of options and good luck blog on Thank you.